So in this module and inside this lecture, what I really want you to take away is I want you to become confident with the Snapchat platform, how to navigate it, what does what, and what the best uses of these features on Snapchat are. So it's gonna be a little bit of quick theory up front, but then we're really gonna get into the fun stuff once we know the basics, because the basics really will help us down the line, connect to customers, and ultimately improve and increase our sales. So the very first and one of the most important things I wanna go over right now are the three communication mediums of Snapchat, meaning the three outreach systems that you can use to contact other people or other users on Snapchat. An example, our target audience or our potential customers. So on the screen in front of you, there are a few different icons. So Snapchat use these icons as symbols to display a meaning behind them. So the three main ones, I know there's a lot in front of you right now, but there are three main ones to focus on. So there's red, purple, and blue. And what I want you to notice is every time you see a red icon or this pinky red sort of color, it means that you've received or sent a photo. So a photo is the number one uh, communication medium. The purple one means you have sent or received a video. So anything that has purple here, 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 and the screenshots and the replays, they're all to do with videos. The third one is a chat, which is just text. So someone sent you text, so you've sent someone text. Pretty much just like an SMS or a WhatsApp message. So they're the three main ones to remember. What I'm gonna do now is walk you through the variations of each color and what they mean. You can see there's little descriptions under them. And I'm actually here at support.snap.com where you can find a lot of really cool resources if you are struggling with the basics after you make it through this module. It's great to come here and check out all the resources that Snapchat give you. But we can also just focus on the most important ones which I'll be walking you through right now. So anytime it's red, it's gonna be a photo. There's gonna be, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six different sort of red icons. So. The first one here is, a, they say a snap sent without audio. Most of the time it's going to be a photo. So this colored in little arrow here means you've sent a photo to somebody and they have not opened it yet. Once they open your photo, so once they receive and view your photo, you're gonna then see this hollow little arrow icon. So you've sent it, they view it and it goes hollow and it will stay hollow. If someone sends you a picture, it'll be a square instead of the colored in arrow, it's a colored in square. Once you view your picture, you'll now have a hollow square. A screenshot, so a screenshot on the iPhone is ho holding the home button and the off button at the same time, and you can take a photo of what's on your screen. If someone takes a screenshot of your photo, you're gonna see this little icon pop up instead of this one here, meaning someone saved it to their device, your photo. And if they replay your snap, you're allowed one replay every day. If they use the replay on your snap or on your photo, you get the red replay icon. So the same thing goes with the video. If you send a video, it's gonna be the colored in purple. Once your friend receives the video and views it, it's gonna be a hollow, a hollow arrow that is. Uh, once you receive a video from a friend, it's gonna be a full square. You view it, it goes to a hollow square. If you take a screenshot of a video, uh, it's gonna send this to your friend and if they take a screenshot of your video, they're gonna send this icon to you and the replay is the same. Obviously, there's no replay for chat because you can't replay some, you can't replay text, but every other icon goes the same for chat. Snap Cash, we'll be touching on that later in this course, but basically that's sending money to someone using Snapchat Snap Cash feature. And this gray one here, meaning it hasn't sent, you may not be connected to Wi-Fi, or somebody may not add you as a friend and not allow you to send photos. So this just means the Snapchat is either still trying to send or hasn't been sent. These are the most important things in Snapchat to remember, theory-wise. I'm gonna jump into the app and show you these live to give you a better understanding. But once again, if you have to study any of these, just these three right here, red, purple, blue, photo, video, chat is the easiest way to remember them. Let's go ahead and jump over to my iPad and I'll show you these in action. Great, so we're back inside my Snapchat now and 
What I want to do quickly before I show you these icons, as you can see on your screen in action, I want to just show you the different tabs of Snapchat. So to start, we're on the Snapchat newsfeed tab. So this is where everything that people send to you come in, whether it be a chat, a video, or a photo. Now, if I scroll to the right, it goes to the camera tab. You're looking at a brown towel with some coins on it and my iPad. And this is where you send and create media in order to share it with your fans and your customers. So I'm gonna to swipe to the right again. This here is the stories tab. I'm gonna get into this a little bit later, but I just want you to see how Snapchat is laid out. One more time to the right is the Discover tab. This Discover tab isn't so important to us uh, as a business, so we're not gonna to touch on that too much, but I will show you a little bit more about it. So back through the Stories tab, back through the Camera tab, to the Newsfeed tab. There is one more tab to the left, which I'm gonna show you right now, but you can't just scroll to the left, I'm trying to scroll uh, swipe to the left right now, you have to actually click so on somebody's name and swipe them to the left. And as you can see, this is my other account, which I'm using on my iPad right now. And that opens what's called the chat tab. So I could chat to myself or I could chat to Team Snapchat. As you can see, they've actually chatted to us uh, once we've signed up. So you can remember to the three symbols that we went through, the blue the red and the purple symbols. You can see on my screen now, I have two of them in front of me. One from Team Snapchat, which is purple, meaning it's a video. And the one from myself, which I just set myself to demonstrate to you guys, is the red one, which means it's a photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the purple one. All I'm gonna do is tap Team Chat Snapchat's name and it'll open their Snapchat in video. Cool, so that was Team Snapchat's video. I didn't play it all because it was a lot of video. You get the idea though. So the next one is the photo from myself. So I'm just gonna tap that. And there's the photo that I just took from my iPad and sent it to my device. The last one is the text. So the blue one is text. So I'm just logging in with my iPad right now. I'm just gonna send myself a message saying hi. You can see a little notification comes in at the top and the little icon next to Benji Blue now becomes blue and it's full, which is a chat message. So I'm gonna swipe to the left and you can see that I've written to myself, hi. I'm gonna push the arrow on the top right to go back. You can now see that the Snapchat symbol has become hollow because I've read it. The cool thing about Snapchat, if I try and go back, the message is now gone. That is the whole idea of Snapchat meaning everything is temporary and you can only view it once. There is, if you remember, the replay feature where you can replay either one photo or one video per day. But apart from that, there's no seeing a Snapchat again once you've played it through the Snapchat app. So that's it, the basics of the three mediums of communication. I hope that makes a lot of sense to you. If it doesn't, go ahead and look at the resource on the support.snapchat.com's website. And I'll see you in the next lecture where I show you more around Snapchat's platform.